Hello, welcome everyone to our rep class today. We are honored to have Dolores Zajic with us. She has been, as she is internationally acclaimed, is that rare voice type, a true dramatic Verdi mezzo soprano, typified by the composer's most famous and difficult mezzo soprano roles. With her expressive vocal palette, seamless technique, and ability to communicate even the most complex character, Dolora is particularly renowned for her interpretations of Asucena in Il Trovatore, Amneris in Aida, and Eboli in Don Carlo on the world's greatest stages. She has appeared in opera and concert with some of the foremost conductors of today. Uh, in recent seasons, Dolores has continued to take on new roles, such as Gertrude in Hansel and Gretel, Mary in Wagner's Die Fliegende Hollander at the Metropolitan Opera. Uh, in addition to her outstanding performance career, Dolores is a passionate vocal pedagogue, having founded the Institute for Young Dramatic Voices in 2006, a vocal training program for large or unusual voices designed to help nurture the development according to their unique needs and to help these young singers reach the world stage. So let us give a warm, warm welcome to Dolores Adic. Okay, that's, okay, so um, who's my first victim? I think it's Jada Barney. Yes, I'm going first. Okay. okay. Um, do you have a do you have a vocal track with? I mean, a piano track with you? Um, I will actually be playing with a live accompaniment. Oh, great! Yeah. Let me get my uh, let me get my uh, speaker on. Mute there. There we go. Mute. Please, if everyone can mute, and I'll do the same, and then Delora. You want me to just interrupt you at 15? Do you want me to give you a something? Put something in the chat, or I'll just stop. Just, just, just. Give me. Just, Ron, I got two minutes. Ron, I got two minutes. Okay. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, okay, could so, you uh, sing the aria, sing the aria for me? Aria for me? Yes, I can. Okay. Okay.
things I'd like, three, th actually three things I'd like to address. You've made a lot of progress since I last heard you. So this is good. You're getting good input. Okay. So the first thing that I want to address is um, your breath. So when you breathe in, I want you to breathe in normally, just breathe in normally. And I want you to just keep breathing until you start to feel a contraction in your lower abdominal muscles and your lower back muscle. And then just, and then just keep going until the muscles kind of go into a new position and kind of lock into place. I want you to do that right now. Just open your mouth in your singing position. Okay, and just breathe in slowly. And, and when you start to feel those muscle contractions, keep going until the muscles kind of lock into a new position. Do you feel that? Yeah. Okay. When those muscles kind of set, reset themselves, those are the muscles that you use to control the exhalation of air. So every time you sing, I want you to make sure your mouth is open in a singing position. If you look at professional singers, when they sing, their mouths stay in the same position. So they don't go, they go, they keep it, they always keep it there. Okay, so I want you to, let's start with the va, okay? And I want you to get the breath in place when you do the va, okay? Okay. Let's just do the very beginning. I just... Okay, this is good. Now, now, the next thing I want to address is your upper lip. Now, I'm going to show you a diagram. Okay. Hard to see. Okay, that's hard to see. Okay, can you can you see that at all? Yeah, I can see it. Okay, do you see there's red muscles by the by the back of the jaw? There's a purple muscle on the that goes above the lip and attaches to the jaw, and then there are the blue muscles that are on the side of the skull, and they got these strings that kind of go down to the upper lip. Do you see that? Yes, I see it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Those blue muscles are what you use to control the lift. And the lift is controlled here. So the, so the contraction actually takes place here on the side of your skull. But if you kind of squint your eyes like that, like you're smelling a bad fish, and then there's a, there's a V-shaped blue muscle right by the side of your nose, and it makes you go like this, like you don't want to smell that bad fish, you don't want to smell that bad fish. Mm -hmm. Okay, so... So if you squint your eyes, you know, and if, if you get, you get, you'll, it'll help you get that lift. I mean, ultimately you can do it in a more subtle way, but for now I want to overdo it. And I want, I want to get this, I want to get this um, lift in your, okay. So get this. Okay. All right. And I want you to do it at the same time you're breathing. All right. So, so breathe the right way. And then I want you to go, Va, and I and I want you to keep that lip high. So, so bring that bottom lip up. Va, va, without moving that upper lip. Okay, let's try that. Okay, so you got to do two things at the same time. need more you need even need more height because in in getting you're trying to get your mouth relaxed you've kind of you kind of dropped your lip like this and you have to have that lift in there when you're singing okay okay that already sounds better now the second now the third thing i want to uh, address is your jaw position so can you do this with your jaw just jiggle it like this so that it goes back. The sensation is gonna be that it's going back. Remember that this muscle right here, this is the strongest muscle in the body. And so it takes extra effort to get this muscle very, very relaxed. Va, okay. Now, 
if your if your jaw's in the right place and it's moved this way, see, it really opens like a hinge, not like a drawer. It opens like this. Mm -hmm. It doesn't open like this. So think of it going back. So if the chin's going back, then what's going to happen is it's going to be a lot easier for your tongue to reach the the behind your upper teeth. And it's going to be easier to close your lips too. Okay. So I want you to do that va. Now, I want you to use an Eastern European va. Okay, so the further west you go, the more we curl our lip under when we go va. We do it in the west, we go va. You go to Europe, Western Europe, it's va. You go to Eastern Europe, it's va. And you go to Russia, it's va. Okay. okay. So, so what I want you to do is do the Eastern European, which is behind the bottom lip. And what that's going to do is you won't have to close your jaw to say that V. Va. Va. Okay. And I want you to sing. Now, now, now you're getting this is really tricky because you gotta, you've got to multitask and do several things at the same time. So you want to get the jaw in the right place. Va, make it a dark va, va, and I want you to have that upper lip up, va, and I want you to have breathe right. Think you can do all that at the same time? I'm going to we, try. <laughs> okay, heart. it's a lot. It's a lot to do in a short period of time, but you're doing very well. Okay, so let's try it. Now we're going to add a new thing. It's called chest compression. Okay, so um, what I want you to do is I want you to go back to that breathing that you did where you breathe in and you feel the muscles contract in your lower abdominals and your lower back. Breathe in slowly, mouth open. And I want you to keep breathing until you feel a, keep breathing in until you feel a pressure here, right there. Do you feel it? That's chest compression. That's putting a nozzle on the hose. That's like putting a nozzle on the hose. So what you're doing is, what compression is, is you're taking the same, at the same force, the same rate of speed, and the same volume, you're pushing the same amount of air through a smaller hole. And you're putting the compression right here. And when you engage those back muscles, what happens is there's some ribs. Okay, it's hard to see. Do you see those blue sets of muscles? Yes. Okay, the bottom ones are in your lower back and the, and the upper ones are in your upper back. Okay, and they wrap around, they wrap around here. And what they do, it's the middle layer of muscles in your body. So what you do is when you contract those lower muscles, it sets sort of a chain reaction and it engages the whole rib cage and it actually starts to contract the upper muscles and what they do is they pull this way and it pulls on your windpipe is basically what it does and by pulling on your wind pressing on your windpipe it makes it smaller that's compression that's the technical definition of compression and even though it's very subtle it's just enough to give you that airflow that's going to make it stronger so it's almost like you're vomiting it's that same sensation when you're vomiting so you're going like that so so you, so you want to breathe right. You want to breathe in until you have that compression. You get that compression in your chest. Your jaw's in the right place. You say the right V. It's a dark ah, and you have the squinch, and you have this lift. Okay? See if you can do all that at the same time now. got to be much darker okay much okay. darker oh the reason why the reason why sometimes we use with some people doesn't work with everybody with some people a british awe is good because it lowers the larynx and then what you do then we work with the front of the tongue to make it italianate but right now we got to get the larynx low okay? okay like like put your finger right under your larynx and 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 yawn and feel where it goes feel how it goes down 
Okay. So as it goes down, that, that's how it has to be when you sing. It's got to be that low when you sing. So see if you can do that. Okay. That's a lot of work to go into one word, huh? Yep. <laughs> <laughs> but it's but it, but it's right. Keep keep that awe dark, a, a, a British awe. Okay. <laughs> Lift. It's got to be much darker, much darker. Oh, oh, right? Oh, oh, oh. Now do it, but keep that upper lip up when you do it. Try it again. You're almost there. Compression. Dark all upper lip. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Now can you do the lesser coule mel arma? Keep it in the same place. That's all right. Now, it's important that now you learn something, how to sing this way, that you don't do it more than 15 minutes three times a week. Okay. Because okay. otherwise you can actually sprain a muscle. Hmm. You want to build up. You want to gradually build up. Do it that do it for 15 minutes this way, three three times a week, that's all. And sing this way and then and then 2 weeks later you turn it into 30 minutes three times a week, okay? And then two weeks after that, you turn it into 45 minutes three days a week. Okay. And and because what's happening is, is now you're really, and if you sing this way, if it's really connected to your body, then what's happened is, is a, a good sign that you've done it right is that your body is sore, but your voice is fresh. Okay. And, and, you know, and if you overdo it, you'll, you, you'll actually, it's like overworking a muscle and then you won't be able to sing for a couple of days. Okay. I got to go to the next person, but terrific, terrific work. You made great progress on one word, but it's amazing what you can do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, okay. Who's next? Um, okay. Hi, I'm next. <laughs> okay. And you're singing the Dvorja. Okay.
Okay. First thing, um, I'm going to give you a breathing exercise because what what I what I'm noticing is that you don't have a steady line of breath under what you do, and it would solve half of your vocal issues if you had that steady breath. And it starts out, um, you, it's the same thing that I said with Jada before, is that you want to breathe, you want to take a simple breath, but you want to just breathe in normally. You just keep going and going and going until you get that contraction going in your lower abdominals and your lower back, and then you do and then you do this. as long as you can and you want to keep the s very steady and when you run out of breath and you can't possibly do it any longer do it as long as you possibly can mm -hmm. you let you let mother nature take the breath you want to basically starve yourself of oxygen so that you'll take in more air than you normally do that's the best way to to increase your breath intake mm -hmm. and then and then you and then you control the exhalation so let's try it so breathe in so that so that you feel a contraction in the lower abdominals and the lower back and then when you do, just do a steady like that. Keep it very steady. Because if there's variation in the S, then there's going to be variation in your focus and your vibrato, and, and it's going to go in and out. So you want to keep it steady. Keep it steady. Now, when you breathe in, make sure you open your mouth into the singing position before you breathe. Let's try it again. Okay, and breathe, oh, let's stop. And make sure you breathe through your mouth and your nose at the same time. If you breathe through only your mouth, you're gonna dry out your vocal folds. If you breathe only through your nose, you won't get enough air in. If you breathe through your mouth and your nose, you'll humidify the air and you'll be able to take in uh, much more air. All right, so let's try it again. Keep it steady. Keep it steady. Keep it very steady. You see how it's variating? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That shows in your singing. Okay. Try it again. This is better. Okay, you, you you didn't take the breath in. You gotta you gotta the, the the recovery breath is the most important part of this. All right. Keep it steady. It's very tedious. This exercise is very tedious, but it it'll develop your breath very quickly. Okay, did you see okay, did you see how much more air you had? Mm -hmm. The best way to build up intake is to starve yourself of oxygen so that you take more and more. And singers, they start to gain um, they gain width in their lower rib cage. They gain here it starts to it starts to get rounder and bigger here, mm -hmm. and the back starts to expand. And most most singers gain two inches at least, some three and four. Okay, now when you sing, you miss sing with that same steadiness. Mm -hmm. So I want you to start, okay, and um, and make sure your jaw is in the right place, okay. Make sure it opens this way, and let's start with that breath idea, okay. So that you have a line of breath through everything you do. All right, let's start from the beginning. What's happening is you're pulsing each beat mm. or each little tiny bit of phrase. 
you have to keep the breath going. You don't want to reiterate every one that you do. You you need to save that for for other things. Okay. You need to keep that breath of line all the way through so you're not pulsing it. Okay. Try it again. And you know, this is a very this is a very difficult thing to do, Don, because you have that is mm -hmm. sure you drop your jaw after that S, because you have to close your jaw to say the S. Okay. Is and drop your jaw very quickly. All right. Okay. <clears throat> this is one of the most difficult things for a singer to learn, but it, it's crucial. <clears throat> Excuse me. You're stopping your breath before every consonant. Okay. The breath has to keep going. Rings is even though you've got a little hiatus there, it's rings is, but you don't want to do it with a glottal. You don't want to go rings is. You want to go rings, rings is dear vault, is dear vault. See, I keep the breath going through it. Try it again. You don't need the music. Just play. Just okay. <clears throat> okay. You see how you stop the voice yeah. before the D? Yeah. And it, you're going runks. It's rinks. It's, go. Yeah. Ist der. Ist der. Keep the keep the breath going. Ist der. It's better. East div div. You keep it going. Divide. Rings is divide. Okay. Okay. Rings. Hey, hey. Try that. Rings is. Keep the breath going. Keep the breath going. Okay, when you do a German, it's it's not, you don't, they don't say the R. They just say two vowels or they flip the R, depending upon what school they're in. So we'll, we'll just assume that we're going to be using modern German. So we'll do it as two vowels. So you would say, dear, dear, dear. You say, do you hear me? Let me hear you say it. Dear. 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 Two vowels. Dear. Dear. Dear, dear, dear. There you go. That sounds German. Dear, go right into the v. Dear, and use this part of the lip right here, right there. Dear, dear, vibrate that v. Dear, no, don't roll the r. I, I mean, go dear, Dear Wald. Dear Wald. Oh, gosh. Okay. Dear Wald. It's. Dear Wald. No, it's not Wald. It's Wald. Wald. Dear Wald. Oh, gosh. Dear. It's okay. Dear Wald. Dear Wald. Wald. Brighter A. Ah. Wald. Wald. Dear Wald. 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 Bring the tongue very forward. Wald. Wald. There you go. Dear Wald. It's like one line. Dear Wald. Now, dear Wald. Dear Wald. 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 
Wald. Wald. Wald. Don't close your jaw. Keep your mouth open. Wald. Wald. There you go. Now sing it. Oh, my sound. You blew the mic out. <laughs> Can you back up further? Yeah. Is it possible? Yeah. yeah. Now. Re. 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 Uh-huh. Okay, is so everybody back? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Everything froze. All right. Okay. So I want you to keep, okay. I want you to keep that tongue forward. All right. Let's try it again. Rest. 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 Now, now, now we're going to, now we're going to, okay. We've got the proper pronunciation. Now we have to put it in a singer space. It's very important when you're learning something in a language that you don't speak that you first understand how it is when you speak it, and then you have to put it into singers, but into a singer space. But you can't do it until you know what it's supposed to sound like and you know how to pronounce it as if you were speaking it. And they are two different things. Because otherwise, vowel modification can make it very confusing. So now we're going to put it in singer space. So, Vault. Okay. Okay, okay. I, I feel like your larynx is kind of riding high. Put your put your finger under your larynx. Make sure it's low. Just like it, it's got to be where you yawn. Below. Keep it low. All right. Now try it. Good. Now let's do the breath. Get makes you breathe right. Now you got that. And I want you to compress. All right. Okay, it's better. It needs more of this lift. Really pulling your lip down. Do it this way. Okay. This is good. Um, the thing to remember, um, one of the most difficult things for singers, especially young singers, um, is you know, a lot of the diction work is very tedious, but yet, but the only way you can really conquer it is by taking it little bit by little bit. And, you know, the diction is really part of, it has to be part of your vocal technique. It can't be just something you just sort of slap on the top of what you do. It's got to be part of your vocal technique. Okay, and one way to one way to one way to practice that is to practice all your vowel and consonant combinations in all the languages. You know, la le li lo lu on every pitch, ba be bi bo bu. You don't you should only move your jaw if you've got an S or a cluster of consonants that has an S or or a rolled R on it. 
Strastre, stri, stro, stru. Now that you would have to close your jaw to say, but you got to get it back open. Okay. Mm -hmm. And a lot of times you will find that half of the vocal problems that people have are related to diction issues. You know, they didn't learn how to say an S or they didn't learn how to say a T. They say an S and they pull their lip down when they say it. Mm -hmm. So you got to learn how to do all those things without moving your upper lip, except for where it's absolutely necessary for a consonant that you use. Okay. Mm -hmm. We'll say this is terrific work. This, that, that, this yeah. is, this is a lot of, uh, a lot of things to think about, but I think they're very important. Thank you. Okay. Terrific. You, you have a nice voice. Thank you. <laughs> okay. And my next person is. Davion. Okay. Davion. All right. Kuda, kuda. Okay. Yes. So let me hear you sing. Okay. Okay. One second. Can you hear the music? Good enough. Okay. Kuda, kuda, kuda ve ora lilis, vjasnima je zlati jarni. Um, could you back up? Hello? How far away can you get from the mic? Uh, okay, one second. Okay, is this better? Does this sound better? Well, I'm not going to tell until you sing. Um, it, it, it's just that you're blowing out the mic. Your input level, if you could like lower the input level to half and back away from the mic, then I'll get okay, a better... Okay, one second. Yeah. I'll get a better okay. sense of... Okay. As far away from the mic as you can get. Okay. Okay. Uh Yeah, blood, 
Okay, let's stop. Let's stop. Just simply because the aria is long and I don't want to spend half the time listening to the aria. Okay, okay. I've heard what I need. Okay, let's start with the beginning. Okay. Okay. Do this with your jaw. And learn how to say a K without closing your jaw. Cool, kuda, 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 kuda. Learn how to say that. Stretch that, tongue. Stretch that tongue to say that D. Kuda. It'll help you sing better if you say those consonants. Kuda. Da da da. Da da da. Da da da. Yeah. Kuda. 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 Okay, you're stopping your voice before that D too. Uh, Don't stop uh, the voice. Kuda, 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 kuda. Kuda, kuda. Now I'm not hearing a K and I'm not hearing a D. Uh, kuda. 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 Put it. Put air behind that D. Kuda. That's better. Okay. Now go. Now the next line is. Kuda vui. Okay, how do you get that vui sound, that Russian sound? It's the, the, the secret is where you put the lip to say the V. So a Russian V, your teeth are very low behind the lip. Vui, vui. If you, vui. If you do that. No, vui. Try and do it now. Now do it without a, do it without a dip song. Vui. Vui. That's right. So kuda, kuda. Kuda, vui, vui. And if you do it the V, right, it's going to bring the voice forward, believe it or not. Bring that tongue forward when you say that. Vui, vui, vui. Vui, Yeah, vui, vui, vui. There you go. Now I want you to sing the kuda, 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 vui without moving your jaw. All right? And keeping that upper lip up. Nice and relaxed. Okay. Kuda. Kuda, kuda, we okay. It's already better. It's already better. Um, I think that you've been trying to you've been trying to avoid the consonants to get the vocal line, and it actually you're going to get more line if you use really do the consonants. They'll help your breath. You need to really, your your consonants need three times as much support as the vowels do. Okay. Now, see if you can do one long line of support, like you're vomiting, one long line, all right? Ooh, but everything is so easy here, all right? Ooh, now, now, here's another thing about an ooh. Um, um, I remember when I got off the plane in the uh, first time in Italy and somebody greeted me to take me to the take me to my where I was living and show me where the opera house was and he said, Signore, come stai. And I said, Now how did you get along? Oh, with a mouth smiling like that. <laughs> Signore. All right. Well, that's how the Ita that turns out that's how the Italians talk. They do everything with their tongue. They don't move their upper lip at all. Signore. So, oh, signori, signori, ooh, ooh, oh, ooh, oh, ooh. Everything is done with the back, with the back of the tongue high against the hard palate. Ooh, the oohs and the o's and everything else is very frontal. Oh, so the tongue, oh. the tongue stay. This part of the tongue always stays frontal, but the back of the tongue goes ooh, 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 cool, 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 cool. 
Now, when the Russians do it, they pull it back a little bit. Cool, 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 cool. Upper cool. Lips, but the upper lip's got to stay up. You see, the difference between Russian and Italian is the Russians pull their upper lip down. But the bet, but the the recent singers that came out in the last 15, 20 years, 30 years, um, when they got westernized. They all went to Italy and they raised their upper lip and all of a sudden they had really smooth sounding Russian singers like Horostovsky and, uh, you know, Olga Borodina and all those people. It's like that really smooth and because they got their upper lip up and that's how they got rid of the, that's how they got rid of that. So, so, see so what, so you want the, okay. Place that ooh right there and make that breath very, very smooth. All right. Let's try it again. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, keep going. Oh, oh, it's on Dante. It's you're 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 singing it like you're dying. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> now, here's another problem is that you're tending to sing through your nose when you do an intoned consonant like an N or an M or a D or a semi-intone like a D, you start start singing through your nose. And okay. what you're doing is you're dropping your soft palate. When your soft palate is high, most of the sound's gonna come out your mouth. When the soft palate drops, most of the sound goes out, out your nose. Okay. Okay, so you want you want the sound to go out your mouth, not your nose. Okay, okay. so when you do that. Don't let it go nasal when you get to those D's. Kuda, kuda. So okay, let's 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 do that. The kuda. You did it. Did it on the da, but you didn't do it on the li. That's right. That's right. Hear that ring in the sound? Hear that ring in the sound? Yes. Don't and don't let don't go through the nose. Don't go through the nose. And now let's do the whole line. Kuda, kuda. Don't drag it, or you're gonna run out of air and you'll start pushing. All right. That's already better. Can you hear? Can you hear the difference? Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now we're gonna make. Now we're gonna add support. Breathe low. And and uh, it's not high enough to add compression yet. Um. You. Just 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 make sure that it, that that your your back your lower back and your lower uh, abdomen is engaged when you breathe in. Okay. So. Okay, just breathe. Oh, no, 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 you went nasal. Ah, jeez. Vis, it's a soft vis. Vis, vis, like view. Vis, vis, my 
Okay. Yeah, make some adjustments okay the first thing you have to do is you have to go more towards an if the the and the ye have to be more like of closer to an if so and it's la zla zla not zla 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 no. Okay. no, 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 no. You're closing your mouth. Your mouth has to stay open and you got to compress like hell. Okay. Okay? okay. Men need, and tenors probably need more compression than any. If you're a held in tenor, you need more compression than anybody. <laughs> okay. Try it again. Oh, we got we, we ran out of time. Oh. <laughs> okay, but, but but it was good work. If you can remember those things, it's going to help you. Okay. All right. All Thank right. You. All right. Next. Sorry, we ran out of time. Dang, we could have got that high note. <laughs> okay. Uh, uh, I'm All right. Out. I'll be singing
a a roll that has a soubrette tinge to it, you don't want to get cutesy and think, okay, now I got to sing like a soubrette. You need to be true to your real voice. So what I want you to do is use the quando menvo. I need a lot more space in the back. Quando. Put like a British ah, ah, British ah, but get that larynx really low and keep your jaw back. That'll help keep that tongue forward and that, that um, larynx in a lower position. And see if you can sing it. Don't, you know, don't, don't worry about, you know, just get the, just this, it's the quality of sound I want to get first, and then we're going to work the diction into it. Okay. Qua, qua. Oh, that was much better. That was much better, and it sounded like it. It, it sounded um, like you. The other one sounded like you were trying to be. Musetta or somebody, you know, what I mean? and you need to be, you need to be who you are in, in terms of your vocal sound. The, the worst thing you can do is copy somebody's timbre. I don't, I don't, I'm not saying that you copy somebody, but it's, it's, it's be true to your own timbre. All right. The, you, there is a way to color it and characterize it. Now I want you to do, now I want you to do the same thing, but with a lift. All right. That same space, but with that, with a lift using like you're smelling a bad fish you don't want to smell this bad fish and you don't want to see the sun because the sun's too bright and you're just trying where's that bad fish coming from okay <laughs> okay see if you can do that okay it was really good until you got to the o because you didn't keep your upper lip up on it you have to learn how to say the O without lowering your Do it like the Italians do. Okay. It but but it got a night had depth and it had ring in it until you got to the o, until you got to the vol. So and you know and don't let the consonant pull your lip down. Vol vol. All right. Good. Continue. Okay. And when you close when you close that pair, don't don't go pair. Go In Italian close okay. It's a mistake that a lot of Americans make because because when we do an open N and open A, they sound different than an Italian open N A. So in America we would say E eh, and we would say A. Eh. Eh, eh, eh. But that's not how the Italians do it. They would go, and you can tell by the way they boo the way they talk. You go to northern Italy, right, and and everything's kind of got this this they, they they squinch and they talk like this, you know, and their lip is up and they go, and you go they go to Italy, they go boo 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 northern Italy. You go to south, they go. They have to warm up, and, they, and it sounds like a bunch of cattle or something in the beginning. And they go, mm -hmm. that's how they boo in southern Italy. All right, so and that's actually louder. You don't want to be booed in southern Italy. I've, I've never been booed in Italy, but I want to tell you something. When I saw other people being booed, I was scared. I didn't go out. I didn't want to go out and take my bow. Okay, so, so you have to um, make sure that you don't. Get let that lip go down no matter what you do. Okay? It will not sound Italian if your if that upper lip goes down. All right. And if you got an S in there, every time you get to an S, drop your jaw. Okay. Lift up, drop your jaw. Don't let the lip be involved with the consonants unless you absolutely need it to form the consonant, like a like a B or a P or something like that. Okay. Let's try it. Let's try it from uh, um, cuando start the second, the second cuando menvo. Sorry. No, it's not. 
That's right. That's an Italian closed A. Now try it. That's not V. That's right. Now get the tongue forward on that ah and high in the middle, and it'll sound Italian. What a low larynx, high in the middle tongue on an ah. No, not your, your, no, no, it's not via, uh, it's the, uh, uh, uh. Uh, 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 No, you're going, no, it's not via, uh, it's via. Uh. Via. Via, uh, upper lip up, via, uh, 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 uh. Via. There you go. Now sing it. Via. Via. No, no. Ah, uh, 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 let me explain why ah uh, is so difficult. The most difficult vowel for women is ah uh, because in head voice it has a different placement than the other vowels. So here's your teeth, here's your tongue. So when you do e, a, o, u, okay. So those are the back just goes up a little bit. All right. So, but when you do an ah, uh, it goes like this. It's high in the middle. The, the, it's going to be in a different place. For men, it's the E vowel. That's the, that's the killer vowel for men. And for, for ladies, it's the A ah vowel. Because the A ah is in a different place. But you want the larynx low. That's also Italian. Now, the British have a dark A. Ah. When they say an A, ah, they lower their larynx when they do it. So if you can copy a British A, ah, get your tongue in the Italian place, you'll have it. Just saying via. It's got an umlaut in it. Feel with your upper lip up. Okay, you're going. I went. Hear the difference? Oh, you got it at the beginning. You got it at the beginning. It's still too all. It's ah. That's better. Now do the whole line. Okay, much better. Now let's work on that grace note. Okay, you gotta spend a little more time in there and really sing it. Okay, you kind of just sort of flip through it, and you're not really singing it. And when you and make sure you're really supporting when you get to that e that follow that that let the let the don't let your support go when you go to that high note. Okay, now let's try it. Okay, it's getting better and better. Now, can you do the grace note a little faster, but no, don't lose the weight in it? Put some accent on it with your with your support. That's why he is it's a quasi retard. It's not a real retard. He means he, he's giving you a chance to play with it a bit. Puccini doesn't give you much chances to play. <laughs> Take advantage of it. <laughs> What's important is that the letta per la via is in tempo. All right? 
he, he's giving you a chance to play right here. And, and, and it's part of her personality. And she's like, she's going, she's going, she's going, maybe, oh, no, maybe, no. <laughs> I mean, just kind of her personality. <laughs> you know, want to see that, you know, inject some personality in it. Okay, now let's try it again. You're doing good. You're doing very good. Okay. Okay. Really sink into that. Let the tum tum tum. Really sink into it without without slowing down. Ha da 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 ha. You know, ah, you like you're vomiting that high note. All right, do it again. And make it musical. When you slow it down, it's got to be musical. Okay. Make it musical. That's so much better. Let's do the next line. It's the same thing. You know, see those little lines, the little marcatos? It means he wants you to express it in a certain way. He, he was, but it's got to be done with a line. So it's. Do you see how I did those little lines there? See if you can do it. Mira, mira. 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 Upper That's a tricky one because you got to do it in tempo. You got to do a portamento and you got to do it in tempo. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Not that bad. So, so the line is. See how I'm doing the line? La gente so. Okay, I ran out of time. Sorry, but you make you made a lot of progress. Thank you. Good progress. Excellent. Thank you very much. Okay. Okay. Courtney Holmes. There you are. Hello. Okay. So let's hear you sing. Thank you. I'm Courtney. I'm singing Jill from Fishing Do you have a, do you have an accompaniment with you? Um, your sound is blocked. You're, you're cutting out on your sound. Okay, give me one second. Okay, turn your sound back on. Turn your sound. Turn your speaker on. Okay. Um, okay, do you see where it says mute on your golden little arrow that's right beside mute? Mm -hmm. Click on it. Mm -hmm. On the bottom it says audio settings. Click. Okay, make sure your input on the microphone is only at half. It is. Okay, now let's do it. And get as far away from the mic as you can. And do you have an accompaniment with you? On YouTube. Do you have an accompaniment with you? Yes, on YouTube. No, I mean, I mean to sing to sing your aria. Do you have a track, a piano track? Yes. Okay, I'd like to hear it. Okay. We're wasting time. <laughs> okay. Okay.
page 342 where you go prima di questa aurora okay we're going to start right there now the first thing i want you to do is i want you to um breathe breathe low so that you're, you're engaging your lower abdominals and your lower back breathe all the way open your mouth and go before you start to sing all right and i want you to hold your mouth in this con in this position right here Okay. Okay, let's start right there. Okay. Prima di quest. Okay. Sorry, the first one? Yeah. Uh, the, the, it's where, uh, the, yes, the first one. Prima, where, where, the second one. Prima di questa aurora, di well, the one with the high note. Prima di questa aurora, di questa aurora. Okay, okay, okay. When you get wider, all right, there's a muscle on the side of your skull that pulls this way all right it's almost where the makeup line is because it, it actually attaches to your lip you don't want to use the there's a there's a muscle that goes around your lip this way and attaches to your jaw you never want to use that in singing because if you do that you're going to lose resonance and all of that but you're going to put your jaw in the wrong in the wrong position you always want the lift to be coming from here and here all right, so I want you to feel as if the sound is going like this. It's going behind your ears, it's going to the back of the neck, and then it's going over the top of your head right right to here. Okay. All right, okay. all right, try that. Let's try that line again. Keep that lift there, all right? You don't want to use the you don't want to lose the vertical quality or the depth that you have that part you have is good we want to keep that we don't want when we do something new it doesn't mean we want to throw away something that's working does that make sense all right so you want to keep the depth in the sound that you that you had when you sang before but we want to add the lift to that all right and as you go up i want you to compress now Try, try, breathe in low until you feel those contract, and then do a vomiting sensation. Can you do that? Yeah. Let me see you do it. Okay, do you feel that in your chest? Yes. You need a ton of that when you start singing in that part of the register. And in this piece particularly, you need it to be effective. All right? And you don't want to pulse it. You want to keep it one long soaring line. All right. Try it again. Okay. It needs more lift. With, but dude, don't lose the depth. Don't lose the depth. The space you have is good. We just want the lift in it. All right. Just do it from di questa, the second di questa aurora. Di questa. Wait. 
we'll start from here. Start from there. Yeah. Pre. Keep the lift. Okay. You have to keep the depth when you go up. Keep that larynx low when you go up. All right. Amen. Lots of this. If I want to do it with a lot of depth. Sing that. I want you to do the second one. But no, you 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 don't have nearly enough compression. It's like you you got to you got to use those back muscles so much that you're feeling a pressure here. How would you vomit? Like you pretend you're vomiting the sound. Try it again. Okay, you blew the mic out. How far away can you get from the mic? Is there another part of the room you can go to? Yeah. Yeah, and turn sideways so you're not dra directly into the mic. All right. That's better. Even more. It needs even more strength here. Like that. I got. Oh, oh, darker. I need a darker. Okay. Um, I'm gonna experiment with something. I want you to see more of an app there. Questa. Try that. Questa. And drop your jaw after that star. Because that's gonna that's gonna screw you up if you don't drop your jaw. That's okay. Quest that with lots of lots of compression. <laughs> you keep blowing the mic out, and I can't hear it. <laughs> the sound cuts out. Must be pretty loud. <laughs> Have, have you got a bathroom or a room adjacent to that room? Yeah, I'm on the hall. All right, go in the hall and do it. More of an ah and lots of compression. Okay, the vibrato is a little wide because your larynx is too high. Put your finger under your larynx. Ah. Ha 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 ha! I got ah. Uh, okay, so you got to have compression ah uh, at the same time. Do it in the hall. Keep the larynx low. Lots of space. Okay, okay. The the part of the problem is the st. You're not getting your jaw out of the way in time for the st. Questa. You gotta drop your jaw after that st. Questa. Sta. Sta. Get it open. Get it open. Really get your mouth open. Right? Like you're gonna eat two apples. Okay. All right. Compression and apples. All right. All right. Okay. Okay. Um, there's some stuff I can't do with you until I see you in person. 
So because I, you know, because I, I'm see looking at long distance. It's a if there's a breath issue going on here. Um, you do okay until you get to your highest notes, and then what happens is you kind of like spread the sound, and then what happens is the vibrato gets obtrusive on the high note, and it's because you don't have it, it's because your jaw's tight. And it's because your larynx is high and because you can't quite get the breath under it. And so when you're singing a role like Liu, you know, in a way, it's it's worse than in Questa Regia in terms of the compression that it needs. Okay. So so you so it's really that vomiting sensation, which I don't think you've quite got. Um, if you can master that, it will get rid of if you can get that compression, it will get rid of that vibrato on the top. And you get the right vowel, low larynx, and compression, it will go away. We just don't have enough time to, 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 to do it. Okay. So, but but still, it's a gorgeous voice. And part of our problem is your voice is quite large, I can tell, and, and it's blowing out the mic. So, that's actually a good thing. <laughs> so... <laughs> Okay, so I guess my time is up, and now I guess I, I turn it over to Monica for how you want to do the rest of the session. I think we were going to open it up for questions, but I think Dr. James wanted to take a few photos. Is that right? Is that yeah, okay? if we could uh, do some some group photos, so everybody who uh, wouldn't mind turning their cameras on, then we can make sure that we have some, some at least a photo with Ms. Zajic, right? So uh, I'll have to do three screens. So everyone just smile and smile away until, until I tell you to stop smiling. <laughs> There's one screen and I'm getting another screen in here. Smile, Aaron Golden, I see you. <laughs> Christian Shelton, I see you too. There you are. <laughs> Great. I actually I think that's all I need. Thank you so much. So we have time for questions. Just a just a, a, a moment. If someone has a has a quick question, you can put it in the chat, or you can just go ahead and ask. Davian. Yes. Um, I would like to know what your favorite role it was to say or is so to say i you know i didn't really have one because it changed all the time <laughs> you know when you're learning something new and is there you one know, that you relate to the most that you did no no okay i know that sounds odd but it's <laughs> okay <laughs> Thank you. Another one, quick question. Questions, questions. I, you know, I could ask a question about uh, chest compression. Um, and you've mentioned how important that is going higher. Is there a point in the female range and the female voice where you lighten up off the chest compression? Like say as you flip in the top right topest register or no? Okay. Um, for sopranos with their tessitura is B to B, you basically you basically begin compressing where your tessitura begins. So you, for a soprano, you would half compress on a B flat, need full compression on a B and higher. And the higher you go, the more you need. Okay. Whereas a mezzo, she could start half compressing on an A. And you'd be have to be in full compressed by a B flat. So um, you don't want to compress under there for women. And men, you don't want to compress the lower notes either. And for men, their tessitura starts a little lower than women's. Women's do. They have a they um, they have a, a wider range of compression than men do, and it's a more gradual um, approach. And and the and uh, and men need a lot more compression than women do, but. Um, um, unless you're singing the dramatic rep, and then then you have to compress you know, as much as you're capable of doing, but you don't want to. You don't want to. Compression is not grunting and squeezing, and you got to make sure you're using the right muscles that 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 come from that lower back. Because if you 
if you just try to do it from here, then what happens is you start using the muscles on top that middle layer of muscles and, and you end up using your pectorals and those kinds of muscles and those actually get in the way of singing. You, you, want, you want those upper muscles to be relaxed. Okay, well, let's uh, just thank Ms. Sajek for being here today. It was an honor and a pleasure. And uh, I'm hoping she'll, she'll be back. <laughs>